Good morning, you guys. I have a shaved face. I have a face again, it's very nice. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some stuff that actually kind of sketches me out with this STI today. So I ordered hopefully the last order of parts for this thing, which is going to be the coilovers, uh, replacement brake rotors, I already have new pads in there, but the rotors and the coilovers need to be replaced. Right now there's race lands on the car. One of them just, it just, they don't feel good. I just, I'm not a fan of them. Uh, so we're gonna be pulling those off the car today and we're also gonna be pulling the brake rotors off. Now the brake rotors are what sketch me out on this thing. Every single older Subaru that I've done Whenever it comes to pulling off the calipers, every time, every single time, the bolt strip that holds the caliper to the knuckle. So I'm really hoping that's not the case when we go through these, which is why I wanna get the rotors off now because if we have to do some thread repair on these calipers, I'd rather just like have to do it now instead of when we actually have the new rotors here and have to go through that entire process. So anyways, what's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we'll see how far I actually get into this today because I kind of feel like crap today, both like I feel like I'm a little bit sick and I also feel like, have, have you guys ever just woken up and you feel like you just like got beat on by a ghost in your sleep or something like that? Like I woke up today and I felt like just a ghost had just beat the hell out of my chest for some reason. So I don't know, we'll see how far I actually get into this today but the goal is to at minimum get all the rotors off the car uh, make sure that all, all of our brake calipers are good if we need to order thread repair stuff we'll get that ordered tonight and to get the coilovers off the car so i'm calling it like taking out the trash because that's essentially what we're doing uh the coilovers in there feel like trash the brakes feel like trash so we're going to be pulling off all the trash and uh start from scratch here so we'll probably start up here with this wheel just because we have the most space up here uh and then we'll go into like the more less spacious areas as we move around the car it's just one more thing that we have to do like we don't have to do all engine stuff right now because i can't do anything engine related on this till we get the more parts in uh but you guys are already fully aware of that so uh let's start up there on that front passenger wheel get that thing pulled off. Uh, I'm gonna let, actually, you know what? We're just gonna go through, we're gonna pull all the wheels off. I'm gonna let all the bolts soak in PB Blaster for like 10 minutes, just to make life a little bit easier when it comes to pulling some of this stuff off. So hopefully none of the bolts are seized up and that PB Blaster will have a little bit of time to start soaking into those bolts to free them up a little bit. So this is a little weird. So I knew the front had stainless steel brake lines as you guys can see right there. Those things are coming off also. I just, the race lands are just not doing it for me. But anyways, front has stainless steel brake lines. The rear does not, which I find a little odd. So probably stack some stainless steel brake lines since we're doing all this at once, right? And there's a ton of spider webs back here too, which are not okay. You guys know I hate spiders. Uh, so hopefully no spider walks out, but I've got PB blaster soaking on all of the caliper bolts, holding the calipers to the knuckles. So, oh God, I hate doing this because they always strip out. Let's start, let's just start up here. Let's get all of the calipers off the car because that's my biggest concern right now is if, if these calipers strip out, uh, I wanna get the time certs because these I will do time certs for instead of helicoils. So if these do strip out, I will get time certs ordered for them because I cannot get time certs locally. Let's just start pulling this thing off. Hopefully, hopefully the caliper comes off nicely. There's just two bolts on the backside. I believe they're 17 millimeter. Uh, after I pull it off, I'll confirm for you guys, but these rotors need to come off. We have new ones on the way. They're just centric. The ones I ordered are just centric, like OE replacements, but they're uh, ceramic instead of like steel. Let's get this guy off. Dude, this is like probably the most stressful thing you guys can do. Well, this is probably the, one of the most stressful things you can do because the calipers are made out of aluminum. So the threads on the aluminum part of the caliper like to pull. And when they pull, you have to either helicoil them or you have to time cert them. So this one came out without any issues, thankfully. I also got it cleaned up a little bit. Got all the old brake dust off of it, which is good. We have the hardware temporarily put back in there. I'm pretty sure the new brake pads come with brand new hardware. So I'm not too concerned with that. But some tricks to this is honestly, let it soak in PB Blaster for like 10, 15 minutes, even a day if you have to. Don't be too rough with these. If you're too rough with these, they will pull threads. You will have to helicoil these. You will have to time cert these. In order to get the rotor off, you have to pull the caliper off. So be incredibly careful with these, you guys. Like this, 
This sucks when these things strip. I have had one STI in the past where all, every single bolt stripped. Um, luckily, it looks like the last owner did put some anti-seize on these. They're still a little bit of a pain to get out. To get that top bolt out off of this caliper right here, make your life a little bit easier and pull off the bottom bolt on the knuckle, which is the eccentric bolt for the coilover um, or your strut assembly, whatever you might have. Makes life a lot easier. Um, if you need to, grab some hammers, grab some mallets. Uh, just be incredibly gentle with these because last thing you wanna do is strip these out. Hopefully, we don't have to repair any of these, uh, but let's jump over to the driver's side and do the exact same thing we just did here. I'll probably take some time to clean it up like I did this one, uh, just to get all of the old brake dust off. I didn't get it all out, but I did get a good amount of it out, which I'm totally cool with. Um, so let's do the other side now. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hey, we're two for two so far. That's what I'm saying. Luckily, this one also had anti-seize on it. We are getting like extremely lucky right now. I am a little bit concerned with the rears because those ones seem like they're on there a decent amount tighter. Uh, so hopefully they're not like seized on there, but so far so good. This one also got cleaned up a decent amount just to get all that excessive old brake dust off. No, they don't look perfect, uh, but they do look significantly better than what they were prior. We're past the expensive part. Actually, you know, we're not even, we're not even past the expensive part. At some point we are gonna have to bleed the brake fluid out of this car. Uh, the other issue that I've had with these older Brembos in the past is I've had these guys right here the bleeder valves on both sides of those calipers just strip out and it's awful whoever had the car prior to me like over tighten them significantly but anyways uh front two rotors are out front two pads are out so far the pad life on these seems pretty decent like there's still a decent amount of pad left on those uh, but we're gonna be swapping over to a set of hawk hp pads anyway so i'm not too concerned with that so we've got front well actually but just both fronts done next up we're gonna do that passenger rear now with these rear ones uh, be even more gentle with these ones than you were with the fronts because these ones are the ones that I've had probably the biggest issues with over the past couple of years just because those rear, it's always the rear bolts on the calipers. Since the calipers are aluminum, they just like to pull threads. Hopefully these ones don't pull threads. Uh, to get the rear, wow, I just noticed these are different rotors in the front. Uh, to get the rear rotors off, we are gonna have to drop that E-brake. E-brake's down. So now that our E-brake's down, we're gonna be able to pull that rotor off. Uh, they can be a little bit of a pain at times, but just don't, don't force it. Just let it, just let it naturally come off. It'll come off to you. Sometimes you gotta use a little persuasion with a mallet, but it'll come off. So hopefully these ones cooperate. Let's try pulling them off. I don't want to jinx myself here, but we've been extremely lucky. We haven't had a single caliper bolt strip out on us. And I don't want to jinx myself because we still have one more side to do. Uh, but this video is turning out to be a lot less uh, dramatic than I was anticipating because I was expecting at least at least all of these to be fun. And uh, not a single one, but you know, it, it works out for us, makes things a lot easier. So like I said, when you're doing these rear ones, the rears are 17s as opposed to the fronts where those are 19 millimeters to be able to pull off the calipers. Be incredibly gentle. I'm gonna walk you guys through the next one that I do. Hopefully that one doesn't strip out on us. But if you start to feel a lot of resistance on the back of the caliper bolt, let off, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it. Try to walk the bolt out a little bit. It might clean up the threads as you're pulling it out. The last thing you wanna do is just pull threads out of these, you guys. It's, it's absolutely awful. Ask. Any STI owner who's had to deal with this problem where the Brimbos strip out, they'll tell you it's not fun to have to deal with. But uh, let me walk you guys through the next side because I've just time-lapsed through three of these, so let's actually go over one. All right, let me get my light back up in here so that way I can see what I'm looking at. Uh, I do suggest gloves if you guys do not have any. Um, I've split my finger open way too many times, had to get way too many stitches in the past, so I'm gonna avoid that as much as I can. But uh, before we even pull the caliper off, we gotta get the brake pads out. So the easiest way is grab a pick. One retaining pin, two. The retaining pins are out, holding the actual pins in. Now we can punch this guy out. Dope. I also have dedicated videos on how to install rotors, pads, all the fun stuff on these cars. So if you're looking for like a dedicated install video, check those out. I will link them somewhere if you guys want like a full on walkthrough of how to do all this stuff, but it's pretty like straightforward and self-explanatory. Shim can come out, all that can come out. Now to get the brake pads out. Now remember, I did let all of these calipers soak for probably about, this is this one's probably been soaking for probably about an hour and a half now. 
So those bolts shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully I'm crossing my fingers because I don't want to jinx myself. There's one pad out. So now that we've got the brake pads and everything off, we're ready to bring it out. So always, 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 always double check that you're loosening and not tightening. Sounds extremely redundant, I know. Uh, but I mean, I've made the mistake in the past where I'm think where I think I'm trying to like take something off and I'm actually like tightening it down. Uh, so that is the last thing that we want. So we're gonna be going up with this. So we want that top bolt. Where are you at? You're right there. And just take a gander. Let me take a gander back here in all the spotter webs. There we go, right there. Oh, yes. Yes! All right, now we just gotta make sure the other one comes out nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, baby. Oh my God, yes. Once we get the caliper off, then I'll feel better. But I think we got lucky and we don't have to retap any of these holes. Beautiful, come on, just slide off. That's what I'm talking about right there. A ton of spider webs though. Now I'm just gonna time lapse this because I'm gonna clean this one up like I did all of the others and I don't think you guys wanna sit here and watch me time lapse this forever. Uh, so let's time lapse this and then see what we got going on next. Cause the brake calipers were surprisingly nice. They cooperated, which is perfect, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So I'm actually like really surprised at how well the calipers came out because on every single STI I've owned in the past that has been an older model. FedEx driving by so loud without my parts. With my parts FedEx. But anyways, every single older model STI I've had has always had issues with those caliper bolts coming out. I guarantee you in the comment section, there's gonna be like 30 people that say I've had those strip out and it's awful to deal with. It's not fun and it sucks. Uh, one of the ones that I had to do every single single, like every single bolt on my old 06 STI, all the caliper bolts stripped out. It was a nightmare to have to deal with. Getting those time certs in there took hours. It took hours to get them all in there straight and properly. But uh, let me show you the status of where we're at and kind of what we're doing next. So remember, like I said, with these bolts, if you are doing this, be very gentle with them. When you go to put the bolts back in, like I just friendly reminder, anti-seize. Anti-seize is gonna be your best friend on those. You don't need to torque those down to the moon. I don't even know what the torque spec on those are, but they're not crazy high. This is the last one that we just did. I was having some issues getting this one to like thread back in. The threads on it were not messed up or anything like that. It was just my alignment was like totally off with this and trying to get the caliper put back on there, but everything is cleaned up. So if you're gonna be swapping pads and rotors, I do suggest cleaning up a lot of the brake the brake dust, the grease, the grime that builds up behind the rotor, up inside of the caliper. It's just gonna make putting things, hello. Hi. It's just gonna make putting things back together a lot easier so that way you're not tempted to like cross thread anything or getting get like any schmoo in the bolts because that's just, it's not enjoyable to have to deal with. You guys know who have had to deal with this problem in the past know exactly what I'm talking about here. So these are the rotors that we pulled off the car. They're a mix match set. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. The fronts look like stop techs. The rears look like DBAs just because they have that like extra little breather port right up there um, just for gas to escape, but they're not DBA. So I have no idea what those are. There's still a decent amount of life left on the pads. The rotors have a pretty decent lip on them. Uh, I probably could have gotten away with resurfacing those, but it's fine, we got brand new centric ones coming that'll work perfect for what we're gonna be doing with the car, which is just daily driving with some spirited driving. But uh, this is like the don't drink type of coffee stuff that came off of all of the brakes. Clean your stuff because it gets pretty gross. I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm done with this, I'm done with it, I've actually lost my over this stupid battery mount. I'm just gonna buy one, I'm just gonna buy one that fits because that one just, it doesn't fit. I've lost my mind, I've been tinkering with this for like an hour, there's no way I can make this thing like actually mount up without just slamming some self tappers through it and I'm just not about sending self tappers through the car if I can avoid it. That's where I'm gonna end it today you guys. So big thing for today was those brakes. Uh, we did just get the rotors off but I wanted to get them off today just because that can be such a potential issue with those caliper bolts. Uh, I'm like serious, if you guys are doing that, take your time, be extremely careful with it. I promise you guys, it is one of the worst things that can happen to you when doing brakes. It just, especially if it's your daily driver and you have to drive to work on Tuesday or Monday or whatever, and you're doing brakes on a Sunday and like all of your calipers just get like screwed, 
it's awful to have to deal with. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. So if you liked the video, if it helped you avoid a catastrophe with your brakes, hopefully it does, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, hit me up one of these corners. No idea which one quite yet, because we got EG33 stuff coming here soon. We got 05 STI, STI stuff happening right now and a lot more going on. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.